Norma and I finally bit the bullet. We bought a tire pressure monitoring system. We've been all over the United States in this motor home and even into Canada. And all along I've been uh, gritting my teeth and holding on to the hope that we wouldn't have a blowout or anything. But on our trip to Canada, we did, uh, as we check our uh, pressure before and after each day, we found one tire was a little low. And for whatever reason, the temperature changed or whatever, it, it didn't maintain low. Once we aired it up, it stayed aired up. But that made me, that scared me enough that we decided to invest in one of these products. We did our research and we feel like we got the best product for our needs for the motor home. Uh, no color display, but I don't think I need color. I just need something that's going to warn me if we've got a low tire or an overpressured tire. They heat up and they gain about 15 pounds per day, depending on the temperature. As you're driving down the road, they'll gain. Uh, pressure as the tire heats up. So I'm doing an open box uh, display here to show you what's in the box. We bought the six sensor uh, system. So it came with six inline sensors that it checks for low and high pressure programmable on the uh, display. And it also um, allows you to put air in the tire without having to take it off. Now, we did have a little problem, which I'll show you later, getting two of the sensors on on the outer tires on the back axle because the valve stem sticks away from the outer edge of the tire. It sticks into the hole, so I uh, still haven't figured out how I want to do that. So what you're seeing here in the box, it comes with a plastic mount that you can just sit on the dash and put the display monitor in that. What you're looking at here is a uh, repeater device because the monitor is going to be about 40 feet from the uh, back two tires on the toad eventually. So we wanted the repeater. Uh, so that's one thing that helped us choose this model. It also has a suction cup feature that you can mount onto the back of the monitor and put the suction cup on the windshield. This little uh, sticker system allows you to number as you identify the sensors. It allows you to number the sensors and know where to put them on in the uh, motorhome once you've programmed your display to know that sensor number one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, where the sensor needs to go to correspond to the display that you programmed. Uh, so it's easy to set up, easy to uh, put on, except for those two tires that I still haven't figured out how I'm going to get the sensors on those air valves that um, point into the axle instead of out to the outside where I can get to it. So I just wanted to show you the unboxing of the system. Now I'm going to show you a little bit about how we programmed it and putting the uh, sensors on the tires. You actually want to program the thing before you put the sensors on. When you put the sensors on, it engages the battery and tells it to start transmitting to the sensor, to the monitor, I mean. And uh, you, you want to have everything identified and know which sensor goes where before you put them on the wheels. Okay, I thought I would show you a little bit about programming each unit. Each sensor has a unique code and so you program that sensor for whatever wheel you're going to put that sensor on and that way uh, that's why we use the numbers on each sensor uh, as you program that wheel on the indicator you take the sticker off that matches that position so your front ride is number one front driver side is number two uh, the back axle outer wheel on the uh, passenger side would be number three, four, five, and six, so on and so forth. So it's pretty simple. It's just a repetition of going through the, the set button and the go button, and then you set again to record what it found when you press go, and then you hit the plus button to move to the next wheel. So you see here, number two is flashing press the plus button and it moved to wheel number three uh, you hit the go I'm sorry you hit the set and then the go it finds the number of that sensor and then you hit the set button again and 
wheel number three is now established communications with that particular center so we mark it as number three and that's where we'll put it when we go out to the motorhome to uh, add this to the wheel Okay, brought you outside here so you can see the assembly of the uh, sensor being attached to the valve stem. Uh, took the cap off. This is the front passenger side wheel here. So you see how my wheels are designed. The uh, valve stem does not stick out all the way. So I had a little bit of a difficulty getting the, uh, the, the diameter or the dimensions of the, the uh, sensor. Didn't want to go in the hole at the same angle the uh, valve stem was, was sticking out. So it took me a, a little bit, so uh, ignore the fact that my wheels and tires are dirty. They've had a little bit of splash up from the heavy rain that we've had recently. But eventually I get the, uh, the sensor on and then we'll go through the settings of how to uh, program the high and the low. Now the nice thing about this particular unit, you don't set the high and the low for each sensor. You set the high and the low pressure and temperature for the front axle or the front two wheels and then the back axle. It, it assumes that you're wanting the same pressure in each tire in each position, but it does give you control over doing the front first and then the back independently. Well, my intention was to show you how I programmed the sensors once I got them installed, but as oftentimes and very frustrating, when you think you've pressed the record button, you just took a snapshot instead. So that's what happened to me here. I will say I really enjoyed the uh, demo and the explanation of the product on the Changing Lanes RV YouTube channel. So I'm going to give them a shout out and uh, suggest that you go look for their uh, review of this same product and they show you in, in very good detail how to program these things. The programming is simple. You just step through a sequence according to the instructions. And I like the fact that you set up the pressure by axle, not by individual sensors. So once you got the front set, it's set. Once you got the rear set, it's set. Uh, it's pretty much proven fact that people don't run different pressure in their um, tires that are next to each other. Here's the problem I described earlier in the video. You can see the sensor is so fat that it won't go through the hole and give me the chance to screw it on to the valve stem. I almost lost it there. So the outer rim the valve stem points towards the inner rim, so I can't get the sensors on. I'm going to have to do some uh, scratching my head to figure that one out. But I'll get it figured out, and then I'll show you what I did later in a, uh, a new video. So I hope this has been helpful. Uh, it gives you a chance to see how easy it is to install these things. I highly recommend having something like this so you don't uh, find out you've got a tire problem or a tire leak or a pressure problem while you're going down the highway and have a, a blowout. That would be horrible. Uh, so this is not a cheap investment, but I think it is a worthwhile investment uh, for your safety and peace of mind. Safe travels. See you next time.